Hello friends, I wanted to talk to you for a minute about a term that is sometimes found in the research world and in the literacy world. Um, it's called an uptake. Have you ever heard of the term uptake before? Well, in research, um, if you do research and you put it out in the world and you get it published, an uptake is whatever happens after that. So you, you kind of put out your idea to the world and whatever comes of it, um, the momentum that happens afterward once the public gets a hold of it, if it is beloved or not, it be, if it becomes popular or not, if it creates change or not, those are uptakes. And uptakes are very hard to measure. It's hard to tell if what you've put out into the world is um, has caught on or not. You can't measure um, the influence it has on things. And so one of the um, things about children's books is that often an author will publish something and then they can't really control the uptake that it has. And one of the books that that um, has happened to is the following. So the book Flat Stanley has had tremendous uptake um, among teachers and students in a school setting. It just began as a short story by Jeff Brown about a, a boy named Stanley who's very flat and you, he's so flat you can fold him up and put him in an envelope. But because of that, many, many teachers in the early grades um, use that to create a book activity where they can they have the kids draw out flat, flat Stanley and mail them around and then they document where Flat Stanley goes so they integrate in some geography, some writing, um, and it's quite a fun classroom activity. And this is extremely common in the early grades. And so my children did that, have done it many times, but recently we had a Flat Stanley in a second grade class that flew to visit Grandma and Grandpa in Arizona. And there's Flat Stanley with Grandma playing piano. And Flat Stanley visited the grave of our family dog at grandma's house. Flat Stanley visited o Ohio and here's Flat Stanley on Air Force One and next to Air Force One with our cousins at the National Museum of the Air Force. Flat Stanley took a trip with me to Disney World and stopped at an airport in Texas, went to Harry Potter land, went over to Texas to visit our other grandma and her dog, went riding in the Rocky Mountains on a horse, and so on. So Flat Stanley is one of many type of uptakes that you'll see in children's literature, and I'd like you to uh, be thinking about what type of uptake the books that you're reviewing could have with children.